Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to repair your browser and also your network settings uh, that's been changed by malware or once you've removed malware from the system. Now this is quite common. Once you've removed all the malware sometimes your browser doesn't work properly i.e. it just doesn't open properly or um, it's not functional uh, the, the DNS uh, settings have been changed or proxy settings and all this sort of stuff that happens to the browser. So I'm going to show you some free tools you can use to try and get your browser repaired and get you back up and running. Okay. So the first tool we're going to look at is from anvisoft.com. It's called Anvi Browser Repair Tool. Now this is work in progress at the moment. They've only got the uh, IE Repair Tool there. But as you can see in the picture, there is a Firefox Repair and a Chrome Repair, which are coming in a later version. So let's have a look at the actual tool itself. Now I've got mine downloaded here. And as you can see, it's quite a, a feature packed uh, tool here. We can see we can uh, restore the IE title bar, also the home page. Uh, block window start uh, pop-ups and also you can see here there's a lot of repair functionality to it it's also showing you how to reset the DNS here as well if you want to you can choose a DNS which I think is a really nice uh, feature here you can choose one of these DNS's and uh, reset that back um, you can use a blank page you can also uh, restore the icon on the desktop set IE as default browser Restore the IE favorites and and uh, loads of other good stuff here. This one's a really uh, popular one here. Restore Winsock, which sometimes gets corrupted. And as you can see, we just need to hit this big fix button here and it will run these fixes for us, okay? Now, there is a feature here, as I said, for Firefox and Chrome. These are not running yet, but this will be in version 2.0. I think it's an awesome little tool and it's going to be a great feature for... Uh, fixing uh, your browser after malware related issues so that's the first one I wanted to go through I'm not going to run this I'm just going to show you here we've also got another button down here uh, which is called default settings and you can set that back to default settings and you just hit that basically and it'll put it back so that's the first one the second one is called Repair IE. Now I've used this for quite a few years. It's quite a nice little tool. You can get it from uh, this website here. I will put the links in the description. And as you can see here, it's the same sort of uh, tool as the other one, but this one is more manual. You have to do it all yourself. And we'll go through some of these features right now. So I'll fire it up. And as you can see here, there's nothing that actually starts itself you don't just hit a button it does it all for you you have to do this manually so it gives you all the features for appearance browser features network and connections search features and also the security area now you will have to be a bit familiar with um, working in this environment if you're going to use this tool and you're going to have to know with what to change and what not to change so this one's a little bit more um, for the uh, tech guy really but as you can see here, a clear Windows system host file, you can click on this and it will do that and also disable uh, file downloads for Internet Explorer, restrict websites and so on and so on. You just can go through some of these um, some of these issues that you may be wanting to fix. Okay, Disable Internet access, you click on this and it will ask you do you want to disable it or not and so on and so on. Okay, So basically that's that function for this uh, tool very very good tool very effective okay and you can enable here as well and as you can see once you go through some of this you can change some of these settings or just double click them so that is the repair IE tool another one we're going to look at which is a really good tool is from tweaking.com it's another tool for repairing your Internet Explorer and once you fire this up all you need to do here is hit the start button and it will run some repairs of it and as you can see here it's running through some repairs very good tool for repairing Internet Explorer and Internet Explorer is part of Windows so you need to make sure that's working right for everything to be working properly so and you can see there it took 11 seconds to do that that's finished okay so all you need to do now is close that off and that is the um, repair.exe for tweakingcomputers.com 
Another tool that you can use is called Repair in Internet Explorer with a fix IE utility from the Windows Club. This is another tool, these bloody pop-ups that get on my nerves. So here's another tool here uh, that you can use and this re resets all the DLL files and stuff like that okay um, but I'll show you it here because it's a lot more easier. So all you need to do here is fire this up if you're having trouble with your DLL files this will uh, run this and it will uh, reset all these okay so I'm not going to run it again uh, but basically it will just go and reset all of these. I will give it a quick run just to show you and that's done that quick and it's got 86 uh, DLL files that you can reset there now also you can use bat files which is a good old-fashioned way of doing stuff and I like bat files they're awesome but as you can see here I've got a bat file with all the DLL files and all that sort of good stuff here and you can run this and reset all of these okay um, and this will reset all these areas now also if you're still having problems you can also run SFC scan now to try and uh, fix some of the Windows files that may be broken that's another good way of doing things and you can open up the command prompt and do that okay so hope this helps you out guys I really do this is how you fix and repair your browsers uh, with some free tools on the internet so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you find this video useful and it does help you out then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos then hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.